Now I'm pretty sure some of y'all are aware that living in Georgia, I've been using a lawn tractor that was given to me by one of my neighbors. And before he gave it to me, uh, somebody else had it and they more or less, you know, parked it beside the road and abandoned it. And then uh, somebody else had it before that and they threw it away, gave it away or something. So it's been like, it's been like abandoned, given away, given up for dead several times before it got to me. Well, uh, the neighbor that gave it to me, he spent a little money, he put a new blade, and new belts, and new tires on it. And then uh, I put, over the course of a while, carburetor, uh, fuel pump, fuel lines, uh, battery, um, belts. Well, I had new belts on it, but the mower ate up a belt, so I worked on the mower, put a new belt on it. Oh, maybe some other things, spark plugs, things like that. Um, got her running, have been using her for a while. She got a cracked block. She got one of them Kohler Courage motors, and the block's cracked in two places. I stuck it back together with JB Weld once. It cracked open again. Right now, it's sitting at home with a big open crack in the block. I got some more JB Weld to fix it with. Uh, and it's having trouble picking up fuel, and I, su I, su I suspect it might be because uh, it didn't suck in enough vacuum to power the fuel pump. The fuel pump operates off vacuum because of the big cracks in the block. So I just decided I need to get me a lawnmower that works. Now, I grew up in Georgia, and in Georgia, down in a town called McDonough, Georgia, they they made these little mowers. They're called Snapper Comets, and they're awesome. They actually had a, 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 a test track down there. It's kind of like a destruction track. They go over and drive them over trees and rocks and everything else and try to figure out how to break them. And then they'd use that information to build one that was pretty much un, undestructible. Um, well, I moved off to Maine, and there's hardly any Snapper dealers up there. And, and I guess Snapper sold off to a company called Simplicity. And Simplicity makes little lawn tractor thingies there. So um, I, I never did find me another good snapper up in there. And uh, ever since I've been back here, I, I've thought about, well, if I ever you know, need a lawnmower, I'm gonna get me another snapper. So I, I've been looking online. <laughs> this guy had one for sale. I went and looked at it. And he said, all it needs is a solenoid switch. Well, I got up there and um, not only did it need a solenoid switch, but the, the lawnmower blade was broken. It needed a battery and he jumped, he cranked it, jumped up on it, rode all over the yard, came back and stopped. And, and you know, I said, you want to ride it? And I got on her and I said, where's the shift handle? Oh, that broke off. And I looked around on that side of the thing. It looked like somebody had hit it and just sideswiped it and tore where the shifter used to be and everything right off of it. So I said, you know what? I, I think I'm on the pass on this. I said, this looks a whole lot like what I've been working on for the last year or so. So. I left that one, came back home. Another guy had one before I got to his house. I called him and he said, I don't know what happened, but it won't run. So there's two of them that wouldn't run. So I found this one on the list of Craig and he described it as being the second owner of it, a guy named Kevin, nice guy. He said he was the second owner of it. He said it had never spent a night out of doors. It basically is a, kind of a classic and kind of a cherry. So I went down to see Kevin this morning and I bought this uh, lawnmower. I, I got a little bit of him on YouTube, but it was dark and y'all might not be able to see him. I'll show you the video of me picking it up. I've come to see a guy in Jefferson, Georgia. I was looking for a lawnmower and he has a vintage snapper. And you know, may, not, may or may not know, but snappers were invented in Georgia. If you get a good old one, you got a good old one. This one looks awesome. This is Kevin. Kevin, howdy. Hey. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Richard. Richard. I understand you got a great lawnmower. I do. I've had it for a few years and uh, haven't needed it since I moved, so I'm glad it's going to a good home. Well, I'm happy to take it to a good home. So I'll uh, let you put it on the trailer. Okay. When I get home, I'll ride around the yard with it and let everybody see uh, what you got there. So you just give it a choke. Is that where you... Just push it all the way forward here. Yeah. Make sure the key's on. Yeah. And it's going to take two pulls and it should fire up. Okay. Oh, she sounds lovely.
Well, you can bring it right up till the tire's touch. Yeah. Looks good. I appreciate it. Thank you, Richard. <laughs>